gentlemen, welcome to the Make a Difference podcast. And on this podcast, we share ideas and stories that make a difference and inspire you to make a difference. And today we're talking about decisions. We have been talking about decisions since last week. And what I want you to do is if you have not seen the last episode, go back and watch that episode and then come back and watch this one. We started talking about decisions, the choices that you make, because every single day you and I are are afforded the privilege, the privilege, the wonderful privilege of choosing what we want to become, what we want to do where we want to go, who we want to be with, what we want to put into our bodies. We get to choose on a daily basis, but we don't get to choose the outcome, the result of our decisions. You choose to put a Big Mac in your body, you will see a Big Mac in your body. You, you, listen, you choose, to, you, you choose to eat a pie, you will see a pie. You choose to eat however you want, to live however you want. to. Whatever decision you make will be reflected in the outcomes. You don't get to choose the outcomes. That's what we, that's what we covered last week. And so this, today, today I want to continue to speak to you about decisions. I want to talk to you about one particular decision that every single person ought to make at one point in their lives. And the earlier we make this decision, the better. Decide to work. Decide to work. If you have been in a slumber, if you have been sleeping, wake up right now and decide to work. Decide to work. I'll tell you why it's so important for you to decide to work. Let me put it to you this way. And you need to write this down and go go put it down some way. If you don't decide to, to work, you will be forced to work. I'll say it again. If you don't decide to work, you will be forced to work. Go speak to anybody. There's so many people that you can find around you who are absolutely miserable day in and day out and they hate what they do. And you know why? Because they are being forced to work. Forced by the bills. Forced by that car that they have in the driveway. Forced by the house that they live in. Forced to work on a daily basis because you never made the decision to work. And the beautiful thing about making the decision to work is that you get to choose what it is that you want to do. The earlier you make that decision, the better, because at a young age, you get to decide that this is what I want to do. This is where I want to go. This is who I want to become. And you spend the rest of your life doing exactly that. And Mondays are not horrible all of a sudden. All of a sudden, I I don't feel so good when the sun is about to set because there's so much more that I want to do. Not that I'm forced to do, but that I want to do. You and I have to make the decision to work. If you don't make the decision to work, you're in trouble. If you haven't decided to work, you are in trouble. The very design of a human being, you and I were designed to work. That's why we were designed. That's why we were made. We were made to carry out our work. You and I are meant to work. So I say to you today, decide to work. And I'm telling you right now, if you will not decide to work, you will be forced to work. Or even worse, you know what the Bible says about it? It says poverty will pound on you like a bandit. It says says, says, poverty will pounce you like an armed robber if you don't decide to work. See, we got into a pandemic some time ago, and when we got into this pandemic, there were people who were released from their jobs, but somehow they prospered because they decided to get to work. I want you to get me on this. There were some people who got retrenched from their jobs and they decided to work and now they are better off than they have ever been in their lives even when they were at the height of that job that they had because they decided to work. We see people all around us flourishing and prospering even in difficulty because these are people who decided to work. Now, let me put it to you like this. Resources are reserved for those who are resourceful. The worst thing that you can do is put resources in the hands of somebody who is not resourceful, right? The worst thing you can do, I had a conversation with my sister the other day. We're in the car, and then uh, she says to me, she says to me, did you see how much Elon Musk is worth? I said, yeah, I saw that. (laughs) That would be nice. And she says, it's unnecessary. She says, it's unnecessary. She says, if this guy can just go ahead and just give us something. She was like, why couldn't he just give us something? 
I mean, he can. He can afford to give us a little something. You know what I'm saying? Just, just to keep us going, just to give us a boost, just to get us started so that we also can make something of ourselves. And friend, please hear me out. It does not matter how much resources you give to somebody who has not made the decision to work. They will consume the resources and they will produce absolutely nothing. We have seen it time and time again where somebody receives resources and they produce absolutely nothing because they're not resourceful. The worst thing that can happen in a country, the worst thing that can happen in a country is that you put resources, the country's resources in the hands of men and women who are not determined to work, to serve their people. Because we see it all the time. A country is run to the ground. Countries collapse because resources are placed in the hands of people who are not willing to work. Are you willing to work? Have you made the decision to work? And I'm telling you right now, resources follow those who decide to work. Let me tell you this. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give you this example. There was a, uh, with my book, right? Last week I told you guys this, uh, that one of the best decision, decisions I ever made was to write my book. I went ahead and I wrote this book, and when I wrote this book, I didn't have money. I didn't have nothing to my name that, w that could say, I will go ahead and print a copy of this book. I could not afford to print a copy of this book, but I went ahead and wrote the book anyway. I went ahead and did the work. I went ahead and did the work. I put in the work. I put in the work. I put in the work, and as soon as that was done, I, I, I made a little poster. I made a little poster. I did the cover myself at the time. We, we later on had to change it because it wasn't such an impressive cover. When I finally got someone on my team, she was like, ah, this is not impressive, dude. And so we ended up changing the cover. But at the time, I did not have the resources. I couldn't pay somebody to do the cover of my book. I couldn't pay somebody to edit my book for me. I couldn't pay somebody to even print the book for me. But I went ahead and I just, I just put words. I just put the words down. After putting the words down, I went ahead and I uh, began to speak to some friends. I spoke to some friends. I said, hey, man, listen, I've, writ I've written this book. I've written this book, and at this point, I don't really have the resources to put it out there. And you know what happened? People who never before were willing to look at me, to give me anything, were now willing to say, okay, how can we help? How can we help? What do you need? And since then, I promise you, I promise you, I have seen an abundance of resources which are way beyond comprehension for me because all of a sudden, it's this, it's this principle that is at work, right? Where resources now follow the work, where resources follow the work, where resources are directed to where the work is. And if you have not made the decision to work, I'm telling you, you will starve. You will starve if you haven't made the decision to work. Let me, tell, let me tell you this. Uh, the Bible says it like this, right? The Bible says it like this in Proverbs. It says, it says, take a lesson from the ants, you lazy bones. It says, take a lesson from the ants and become wise. Wait, what? Take a lesson. Learn from the ants. Boy, I'm telling you right now, when it's summer, look around the house. Drop something on the floor. Mess up somehow. Spill something on the floor and see them come out, see the whole army come out and begin to work. It says, learn from the ants, you lazy bones, and become wise. It says, take a lesson from the ants. And then it goes on to say, though they have no ruler, though they have no governor, though they have no prince, they work hard all summer so that they can have something to eat in the winter. Though they have no governor, prince, or ruler, they work hard all throughout the summer so that they would have enough to eat when winter comes around. It's this decision to work that's going to preserve you even if we are to have another global pandemic. Those who work somehow find a way of thriving even in the midst of the most difficult times. Those who work somehow those who have made the decision to work somehow find, find a way to thrive, even in a global pandemic when everything is falling apart. Have you made the decision to work? Or are you waiting for somebody to put you to work? Are you waiting for somebody to force you into work? Are you waiting for somebody to, 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 to strong arm you 
and push you into doing something. Take a lesson from the ants and become wise. Learn from the ants. Because though they have nothing, they have no one pushing them to work. They get to learn. And so I say to you, learn. Learn. Learn your lesson and make the decision to work. Until you make that decision, really doesn't matter what comes your way. Really doesn't matter who gives you what. It really does not matter who you know, what you have, what you don't have. It really does not matter. And it's crazy because in our, in our current society, there is a stronger push now. It seems to be getting stronger and stronger that is pushing to say, well, work doesn't really pay. Work doesn't really help. Because I've seen people working and it doesn't seem to work out for them. And so don't tell me to work. Uh, the other day I, I made a post, right? I made a post. And in my post I said this. It was a video that I made. And I, I simply just said that 10 years from now we're going to get to see who was working and who was playing. We're going to get to see 10 years from now. 10 years from now, we're going to get to see who was, who, who was lying to us. Some, of, some people are just lying to us about how hard they're working. So 10 years from now, a couple of years from now, we're going to get to see who was really working and who was playing. And of course, uh, there was an army of people that came out of the woodworks and they began to say, no, hard work does not guarantee success. I don't think laziness does either. I really don't think so. Oh, and somebody, somebody came through and said this. They said something, something very silly. They said, ah, oh, some so-and-so once said, ah, if, if hard work really pays, then show me a rich donkey. I said, that's, that, that is so ignorant. That is so ignorant. I don't think that's smart at all. I don't think that's smart at all. Because I'm telling you this. You may not feel like you can guarantee it, but you sure as hell will increase the likelihood of you getting what it is that you're after if you decide to work. Let me tell you this. There is somebody listening right now who just registered a business. You registered a company, but you haven't decided to work yet. There is somebody who just got into a relationship and you are talking about marriage and I want my, my, my babies to have your eyes and my babies to have your ears, but you have not made the decision to work on that relationship. And guess what? Somehow along the way, it'll get difficult. It'll get difficult, right? It's going to get very tricky. And when it does, guess what? You're going to bail. You haven't made the decision to work. You, you haven't made the decision to work on this relationship, to work for whatever you want. There is somebody out there right now just had a baby, just found out you're pregnant, still haven't made the decision to work. Someone just enrolled into university, or you're about to go into your final year, and you've just been surviving the whole way. You somehow have not made the decision to work. You're just getting by. You're just surviving. You're just taking whatever comes your way. And I'm telling you, if you keep on going like this, you know what it says? It goes on to say that a little sleep, it says a little extra sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, and poverty will pound on you like an armed robber. You will regret not making the decision to work. You will regret that you did not choose to work. So decide today that whatever happens, whatever I have to do, I choose to make the decision to work. I will work, right? After this, listen, after this message, you're going to go do the, the real work is going to begin, right? The real work is going to begin. But as long as you've made the decision to say whatever it is, whatever it looks like, whatever challenges are going to come with that, whatever that means, I'm going to work. And we're going to take a lesson from the ants. You know what's the biggest lesson that I've taken from the ants? It is that my 20s are my summer. Into my 30s, that's going to be my summer. The young years of my life, when I'm still so strong, when I can move in a way that I'll never be able to move again, when I can still speak in a way that I'll never be able to speak again, when I can still hustle in a way that I'll never be able to hustle again, this is my summer, so I don't really care for doing anything else that is not going to move this mission forward.
because I know that winter is coming when I can no longer move the same way, when now I have kids who are looking at me, when I have a wife who is sitting in the house with me, when I have all of these things that are depending on me, all of these people that are depending on me, and now I am being forced to work because I never made the decision to work. Make the decision to work, and I promise you, you will thank yourself for deciding to work. Thank you.